As a master chef and restaurant consultant, I teach restaurants how to be efficient, organized, and most importantly, how to save money. And that's what you need to do at home. You need to have a plan. You need to be organized. So when you develop your recipes, you develop your shopping list, and that's where you're going to eliminate wasteful spending. You're only going to buy what you need for the week. So let's get started. This is why I love going to farmer's markets and the best way to flavor your food is fresh herbs. This is rosemary. This is great with poultry. Marjoram is great with meats. I love Italian flat leaf parsley. It goes great with just about anything. It's a great flavor enhancer. Um, here we have some oregano that's great in sauces and some of my favorite here we have some chives and these are gorgeous. The smaller the chive, the sweeter the chive. The tip of the chive is the sweetest part because it's closer to the sun. Fresh thyme, another one of my favorites. Here we have our regular thyme. I have some silver thyme here and lemon thyme. Lemon thyme is delicious. If you're cooking some fresh fish, you throw it in the saute pan along with some oil and the flavor is so delicious. Shopping local is a great way to find the best ingredients. And good food, it's all about ingredients. Here we have some organic carrots with the tops. That tells you how fresh they are. Here we have some baby round carrots. We have some white carrots here. We have a few purple carrots, which are interesting as well, if you want to be creative. We have some celery. We have some baby turnips as well. Those are really nice. We have some purple turnips, some white turnips, and then some of my favorite radishes. Those are great in salads. We have some beautiful colors here, and these colors are derived from the sunlight, and they're not forced gas or treated in any way. That's why I like going to the market. You'll find things at the market that you might not find at your grocery store. Here we have some beautiful greens, and these greens were cut this morning. We have some Genovese basil, ruby steaks, hat soy, one of my favorite. We have mustard greens, red mustard greens. We have red bib dandelion, sunflower greens, and here's something very unusual, buckwheat greens. From big cities to small towns, farmers markets are popping up all over. There are great resources online that can help you find one in your area. Beets are great. These were just out of the ground today. They're so fresh and they're moist. And when you're buying beets, you want to look at the leaves and you want to make sure they're nice and green. Now, also, we haven't talked about stem to root concept. The beet greens are actually, you can use them in a salad or you can cook them up. You can basically utilize the entire vegetable. Now that's one ugly tomato. That's an heirloom tomato. This is something that has not been altered by genetics and this is one of the original varieties of tomatoes. This is great. When you're cooking with potatoes, you want to go gourmet, go fingerling potatoes. They're great with fish and meats. Well, when it comes to corn, I prefer the white corn. The white corn is a sweeter corn. There are different varieties of corn. You have the mixed colored, you have the yellow corn, but the white corn is certainly the sweetest. When you're cooking with portobello mushroom, what people forget to do is you have to remove the gills. You take a paring knife and just kind of scrape it out like so, and you slice it up, saute it. It's great with fish, great with meat. It's a perfect mushroom. Now that we've shopped at our local farmer's market, let's take a trip over to our grocery store and see what else we can find. So here we are at our local grocery store, and the best advice I could give you is not to shop while you're hungry, and make sure you're hydrated as well. When you're hungry, everything looks good. You want to stick to your budget, that's important. So I've eaten lunch, and I'm well hydrated, so let's do some shopping. We have our list and we want to stick to our budget. So if you can't afford all organic, there is a way that you can cut back on the expense. What we have here is the, the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. This is the Clean 15. And we have asparagus, which falls in that category. We have an assortment here of green, purple, and white. We have watermelon. We also have avocados, which are on that list. We have corn. We have eggplant, sweet potatoes avocado. You'll be able to find this all up on dinnertool.com. We also have uh, our cantaloupe and our pineapple and 
That's the clean 15. The dirty dozen you want to stay away from if it's not organic. It's the spinach, your romaine lettuce, imported grapes, your blueberries, your strawberries, your celery, your bell peppers, apples. You want to stay away from all that. And also cherries are high in chemical uh, traces. So you want to stay away from that. Even though these are not organic, it's a great way to save money and to stay healthy. It's so important to know what you're buying. And I'm gonna give you a great tip on product coding. Fruits and vegetables have a number code on them. A four digit code starting with the number four is not organic. There's a five digit code starting with nine that is organic. Spices are a great way to flavor your food. Uh, cinnamon sticks, I like to grind them up fresh just before I'm ready to use it. Has so much more flavor to it. And then also coriander seed, which is another one. You want to grind it again just before you, you use it. You can use a coffee grinder, they're so great for grinding spices. Also, I have cumin. I prefer to buy that as well as a, as a whole seed. Next time you pass by the spice aisle, grab a couple, experiment a little bit. You'd be surprised. Well, I had a great time shopping today, and I hope that my tips were helpful, and that you check out my recipes here on DinnerTool.com.